guys, what is up? It's Mika here, and today we're going to be doing the part two of the tank game that we made last time in Scratch. We're going to be adding a cool bullet this time, so it should be pretty awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is go into uh, our costumes. And I already did this, but I'll clear it. All you have to do is look at the middle, zoom in all the way. So you can see that here's regular. We zoom in all the way, so we see this. And we just take the regular size of the brush that's given to us, and we just click in the center. And that's all you really want for your bullets since we're going for a pixel art look. We don't want to make it too complicated or nothing too neat. Uh, obviously, grenades will look a little bit different, but this one should be pretty awesome. So go into scripts then and drag a one flag is clicked. And simply go into looks and say set size. And we're going to make it 300%, I believe. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like the look of that. And all we want to do is... Um, press and drag hide here. I'll explain why in a sec. Uh, and then we're going to go into our data and we're going to say uh, red reload time. So later on in our game we can add um, power ups so that you can shoot faster but in order to do that at the very start of the game you need to have a pretty slow uh, reload time. So here we're going to set it to 0.2 Point two seconds that might seem pretty fast I mean it's a fifth of a second but it's actually not too fast and we can increase that to something like 0 0.02 and that would essentially make it a power up and it'd be pretty cool so then all we want to do is drag it forever and then just put a create clone of myself and then go into wait one second and put that in the forever but instead of one as you may guess we're gonna put a red reload time so then go back to control and then say when I start as clone, all we want to do is show the sprite, and then uh, we have to go to our tank. So go to sprite one, which we're gonna rename right now, to red tank, and then the bullet. We're simply going to rename that to bullet, or let's do red bullet. It doesn't really matter too much, it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, see everything. But basically, um, we're going to go into our control. And then in the little diamond spot, we're going to go into sensing and say touching and press the drop down menu. We're going to put edge and then we're going to say move 10 steps. So now that we're in the motion, we need to add something else. So we're going to take this point in direction, put it right before the repeat until, go into sensing and then drag this one. So it says exposition of red bullet, but instead we're gonna wanna do direction of red tank. And then um, at the very end, we're gonna say delete this clone. Basically all this is doing is, I'll show you here. So we're setting the reload time to 0 0.2. We're hiding the original sprite. And then we're saying every 0 0.2 seconds, create clone of myself. When I start as clone, show myself, go to the red tank point in the direction that the red tank is pointing so like as you can see here it's pointing in this direction right so all we're going to do is point that way and then until we touch the head we're going to keep on moving 10 steps in the direction so um and then once we touch the edge obviously we just want to delete this clone so we don't lag up our game and oh whoops i completely forgot the biggest step of this <laughs> and instead of being forever you do if and then here you say key um, let's do, uh, M because that's close to the arrow keys. We don't want to use space because that's too big of an advantage. So we're going to put M here. Um, and then it's kind of weird because I, I always do space, but since this is a two player game, we're going to do M and then I uh, do create clone of myself and yeah, we can hide these variables and that's essentially our game. So you can see that if M is pressed, it shoots. One thing we need to do actually is go into looks and say go to front so that it's behind the bullet. I mean, it's in front of the bullet. And you can see that if we re hit the green flag, it actually works really nicely. And I think it's pretty cool. So you can see that um, we press M and it shoots. We can turn, press M again, and it shoots. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think I want to leave the episode on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with a part three and peace out.